This was earlier today. Karen Nelly Corda, her second at the second hole. She began tied for 20th place, needing to get into the top eight. Well, the whole location in the middle of the green, but the... She would roll that in for birdie. She would make a birdie at seven and another at eight. No. And then at nine. Three in a row. Pretty solid. Yuka Sasso, second at the 10th. You see she's tied for fifth. You can see how fine of a line that players have to take. Um, that one literally just carrying over the bunker, but... Difficult holes today. Rose bouncing back with a birdie at seven, which is the par five. And that just needs to put the brakes on a little bit. Yeah, she's going to be okay there. Going to have a good chance to make a birdie. Cause some issues. Way down below the level of the putting green here. Yuka Sasso trying to sit the 11th and the third shot for Nairin Arn. Oh, that's a bonus there. That's that is so... a bonus. <laughs> she was 10 off the lead after round one, and now she's one back. And maybe not for long. With these conditions. This is a player that's going to relish the match play. Just needs to get there first. This one goes in. I'll make the task even easier she can't believe she's left it short so Maguire will have that and Maguire to save her four he should be happy to walk away with the four here after missing the fairway yeah that has some really windy tough conditions too high wind on Saturday and then the rain on Sunday and Nelly has beaten every player and mother nature as well this is sasso's third at 13. i wonder if it plugged in the bunker i think it did with the way that she played that yeah i think it's kind of plugged gonna... up on the face wow and so there was that back-to-back -back really poor lies by for sasso after the poor tee shots the chevron championship i don't know if running is a great no. thing there when you but maybe they're a little behind of course, she lost in a playoff at uh, Chevron. Now, Maguire chipping at 13. By far the easiest of the three in her group. I think it's going to end up down the bottom level. Look at that, just how fine of a line it is and how close the, the flag is to. But that helped. Rose Zhang at 12. Same spot yesterday. And Karen, nice. she's going to have a great chance. Yep, very nice. 14th playing long, back into the wind. It's playing. 430 yards into the wind. That's a heck of a good shot there. She's going to drop to plus three if she makes that and outside the top eight. Rose Zhang, meanwhile, at 13. She's trying to flight that one down. You can see from the low follow through. Oh, oh what that's a shot. one of the best. Rose Zhang. Oh, she's feeling. Say Young Kim tied for third. This is at the 14th for birdie. Oh, oh yes, stealing one. Would it have helped her to see Katsu's putt right before that? I think that? so. Certainly for the speed. Aggressive off the tee. Popular spot players just not willing. You're living 
right on that razor's edge at Shadow Creek. Here is Rose Zhang after a birdie. Second shot at 14. It's going to head down to that lower level. Manami Katsu with her third. You see why everyone misses it over there. We're back at the 16th, and this is Sasso. Yeah, just eight pace, paces short at the front of the green. Easy little pitch shot, really. Back to 16 in Katsu's third. Yeah, 141 yards to the front of the green. Got a little bank on the left side that she could use. Safe miss is left, short, let it run in. And that is a really good shot from where she was into the breeze. And off the tee. Just how Tom drew it up. So here is her fourth at the 15th. That's very wow. well done, too. At the 17th, Manami Katsu. This is a wedge for Manami. You know, if there's one shot that can go wrong, this is it. This is a little bit right. It needs to get up. Oh, my goodness. How about this? Maybe. Wow. Two under. Now, Leona. It's a very good line for Maguire. Is it the right distance? Yep. <laughs> Maybe the two best we've seen all day. But go ahead and take care here. Fourth shot. Not too far. Bit of an awkward start, I think. All right, the birdie pitch for Yuka. Pretty level chip with right to left break. All right. This means that we're going to have a playoff. All those plus twos are breathing a sigh of relief right now. This is for bogey, actually. This is... Okay, that's a bogey. Up and down to finish with three straight birdies. She was a bit unfortunate with the third shot that ran through to that spot, and that is a lovely little touch, and yeah. should be a birdie for Katsu. She could affect the seedings here. Yes, yeah, she really could. You can see how much easier it is from that side. Wow. Yeah. Really well done. Powerful ball striker. Taking that high along the corner. That should be nice. I'd say it's probably a high 50s, but... It's not too bad. This one down the left might run out of room on that line. Going to hang on or just run into that rough? Just yeah. in the rough, but you can still see a lot of the ball. This one looks pretty good. High down the middle. Yeah, and it's, good. it's important because anything on the fairway gives you somewhat of an advantage. To the left edge of that fairway bunker in the distance. Also going with fairway wood, a nice high controlled fade, beautiful looking shot. She'll take that one all day long, twice on Sundays. That's fabulous. What a shot. There are She's got this on a really good line. There it is at the front of the green. This could get good. It's got to take the bank. There you go. Well, from where she was, my goodness. For to cover the bunker. Hit it solidly, but pulled it left. Oh. Actually, try and get a good shot here and try and make birdie. Um, this one heading possible. right, she hates it. 
It's hit the tree. It's come down short of the bunker. That was a very poor oh. shot from Brooke. Able to come in with this nine iron. Such an advantage. Is this a repeat it, of what she did in it regulation? Is. Very similar. Just got under those trees and it will release nicely up the green. That is a wonderful shot from Brooke Henderson. It is this absolutely first. magic. Wow. That was tracking. You're thinking, find a way to make a four, and then you hit that shot, and it's rolling, and you're thinking, maybe, maybe. Now she has to stand on the sidelines and keep her fingers crossed that Yuka doesn't make. Caught a lot of ball on that one. Yeah. Always going to be difficult with the ball below your feet. Yeah. Is it enough to get there? Well, it's a guaranteed four. And again, this is a player who got to her last hole late yesterday afternoon when the scoring average for the afternoon wave was 78. She stood on the ninth tee on the cut line. Hit on you is out with the bogey five. This one's a great line, little left, just needs a kick to the right. He's done that, and it's from the left side. And this one leaking a little right. And it's going to find the rough, isn't it, on that line? Yeah. We've seen a number of people play from down there, though. Yeah. In center, left center is preferred. Oh, this going well to the right. This looks like it's headed towards the rough, and that is not easy down there. No, the ball looked like it disappeared too, okay? That's going to be some pretty thick stuff down there. Yeah, and I, and I like hitting first, Tom, because you can apply the pressure right here. <coughs> oh. It's an uphill putt, which is good. And so now the players think it's a pretty good shot. Sasso wasting no time and, and actually doing a great job digging it out of that awful lie. Big high shot. That is so good. Just left of it. And will it be enough to get up? Uh -huh. oh, yeah. The best of the bunch. Speed mm -hmm. and, and break. Hit it very softly. Oh. Whoa. Yeah. Moria is in with Birdie, and the pressure shifts to Brooke.